Yes guys and welcome back to yet another custom tactics video. Today I am addressing a broken narrow 4231 formation custom tactics and instructions post patch. That's right. The 4231 is very well known and it's well known for a reason. It's very, very meta, very balanced as well as narrow, the way I like to play, and hopefully the way you like to play, so it works perfectly for you. So let's get into the tactics. Before we start, however though, if you are new here, it will be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe as it really helps the channel grow. Anyways, our defensive stars going to be balanced and our width and depth are both going to be 5 now. I do not mess around with too many things with our defensive tactics. Otherwise, our players are going to get out of position and they're going to benefit from, from, benefit from that. Um, cutting balls for us, getting behind us and running in behind us. Our offensive stars is going to be fast build up. Now with this formation, like I said, it is very, very narrow. We physically can't play long ball. Otherwise, that long ball is going to get intercepted with fast build up though. You can open them up through quick passing, one twos and tiki taka football. Our width fit is going to be five. Now we do not want to go too wide, otherwise we're turning into the four three three. And if we go too narrow, then again, we're not going to have any wide attack and support. Nobody's going to be there to whip a ball in. Players in the box is actually going to be six. Now with this formation, we have four, um, yeah, no, three counts and one striker. They all want to get into the box. We're going to overload that box and cause harm for their centre halves and fullbacks. Corners three, same as always. You do not want to up it to four or five, otherwise you are going to get hit on the counter attack. And if you see low on your corners, then simply you're wasting a brilliant opportunity. Free kicks one, same as always. Again, the 4 2 3 1, very, very balanced. You've got two CDMs to cover your attack and when they lose the ball. And you've also got three camps to um, provide that attack and support, in which your left cam and right cam go quite wide. And that's why I really like this formation. So, our instructions on our striker is going to be as follows stay central, game behind, default, stay forward. Now, I use these instructions all the time. I like to my striker to be up that pitch all the time, sticking to their defenders and causing major harm, running in behind unexpectedly and hopefully getting that one-on-one -on -one situation. Our cam is going to have stay forward, get into box, default, default. Now the cam is in the centre of the pitch as you can see here. Your CDMs are going to be passing to him, your um, left cam and right cam are going to be passing to him, your striker are going to be passing to him, he is basically the catalyst of this side. Our right cams and left cams are going to have every single instruction on default except from support on crosses is going to be against box like I said, overload that box and outnumber their defenders and same for our other cam. Our CDMs, um, very very supportive, are going to have cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, default cover centre, everything you would want on your CDM like I said. If your attackers lose the ball, your CDMs are going to build a platform, a really strong midfield for, um, you, you know, it's going to make them difficult to break for us and it's very very useful, I really recommend using it. Centre half default, default and fullbacks are going to stay back while attacking default. Default now, as it is, the 4 2 3 on is quite narrow, like I said, but in game, you can manually on your D pad put attacking fullbacks on. So, it, at any case in the game, if you want your fullbacks to get up the pitch and provide them crosses into the box, then simply put attacking fullbacks on. However, you cannot put stay back while attacking on, hence why I use that. Our goalkeeper is going to have comes for crosses and super keeper, everything you would want on your goalkeeper really. You can look at every single pro, he will be using these and it's simply too good. He's so meta, um, he's going to stall their attack, catch the ball and punch the ball in corners and retain you possession. Anyway guys, they had the tactics and instructions to by far my favourite formation in FIFA 21. Very narrow, very direct, very quick um, very quick in the player use um, because you can play 1-2, stick attack football and I really like using it. Tell me if you like using it in the comments below. I reply to it all. Anyway guys, have a nice day, have a nice week, goodbye and don't forget to subscribe.